Uh, when people have severe aortic valve disease, they've gotten to the point where they're having severe symptoms such as congestive heart failure, getting really short of breath, having chest pain, developing a weakened heart. Um, and if a procedure is not done to replace the heart valve, unfortunately these patients do not do well. The treatment of aortic stenosis or narrowing or disease of the aortic valve typically has been in the past a large open heart surgical procedure. Traditionally, surgery to replace the aortic valve really has been a remarkable life-saving surgery. Unfortunately, it's a big operation and it does carry significant risks. Most patients traditionally have done very well, but we do know that in patients who have multiple medical problems or patients who are elderly, um, they're at higher risk for developing severe complications at the time of surgery or during, in the hospital shortly after the surgery. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, really is a pivotal therapy that's been developed over the past few years. And we're really excited that we've played a major role here in Wake Forest in being able to introduce this pivotal life-saving therapy to many, many patients who in the past would not have been offered aortic valve replacement. TAVR is a special minimally invasive surgical procedure to replace one's aortic valve. It consists really of two components, the, the stent, which is the metal cage or frame. This is the valve itself and you know, within that you can see, and the valve's made from pig tissue, from pig valve tissue. We place it inside the catheter. When it's in the catheter, it's all folded together, and then when it's in position, we can basically slowly deploy it or release it from the catheter until it's right over the old valve. This is what the stent valve looks like before it's actually expanded. So right now, it's in position right across the aortic valve. And with this type of valve, in order to deploy it, what we do is there's a balloon that's inside the valve. We speed up the patient's heart rate, and we actually inflate the balloon. And when the balloon expands, it expands the stent inside the old valve itself. And right now, the balloon's gonna start expanding about right here. You can see the balloon inside, the stent's opened up, the valve's on the inside, and that's the actual deployment of the valve. Here's what the valve looks like after the final deployment. And pretty much what we want to see. The valve's in good position. Um, the valve is opening and closing really well. Uh, the patient did great. We did our first TAVR procedure here at Wake Forest in April of 2011. And we're very, very proud that we've been able to, to offer and help many, many patients in the time period since then.